This is Ken Couch, Marketing Director of Comsonics and SETE member. Comsonics has been creating products for the cable industry for over 40 years and has been a pioneer in leakage detection solutions. In this session, we will focus on the topic of digital leakage. Traditionally, cable operators have been measuring analog leakage using equipment that is specifically designed for detecting analog carriers. From a technology perspective, this was achieved by using a narrow 25 kilohertz measurement bandwidth, which provides the benefits of high sensitivity and noise immunity. But now, cable operators are moving to digital channels, which use Quadrature Amplitude Modulation, or QAM. This introduces a new set of challenges to measure the resulting digital leakage. The digital QAM channels have their power spread over a 6 megahertz channel bandwidth, as compared to analog channels, which have most of their power concentrated within the narrow 25 kilohertz bandwidth. This means that if we were to use analog detectors to measure the digital leakage, they would only pick up 1 240th of the signal. If we widen the measurement bandwidth of the detectors to 6 megahertz, in order to capture all the power of the digital channel, it causes another set of problems. The wider bandwidth lets in unwanted noise and we lose the sensitivity we need to measure the digital leakage. On top of that, QAM signals are carried about 5 dB lower than analog carriers, so their leakage power levels will be much harder to measure. Why do we care about digital leakage? Beyond the fundamental reason to control ingress from getting into our cable plant, Digital leakage has the potential to interfere with new LTE cellular services, and vice versa. There are currently about 18 cable channels in the U.S. that operate in the 700 to 800 megahertz frequency spectrum that LTE currently operates in. Early field studies are showing that there are more leaks in this frequency range as compared to the low frequency FAA band that we have been monitoring. Not only are there more leaks, but they tend to be higher in leakage level. As LTE subscribers grow, the issue of LTE interference will also continue to escalate. In order to combat this problem, new RF detection technologies and measurement practices are being developed. The use of specialized receivers, advanced correlation techniques, and narrowband markers are among the new techniques being employed to measure digital leakage. In addition, the SETE NOS Working Group 1 subcommittee is working hard to to develop good measurement practices and better understand how digital leakage is impacting LTE. The intent of this session is to provide you with a basic understanding of how leakage is measured and to present the latest information available on understanding of digital leakage. Thank you for watching this tech tip on digital leakage. For the complete presentation, visit www.sctee.org slash live learning. This topic also relates to SCTE's Broadband Distribution Specialist Certification and BDS Training Course. Visit these websites to learn more.